In this lesson, we're going to learn a new way to describe chiral centers using what's known as R and S assignments. And this is based on the Kahn Engold Prelog system, uh, which is a system essentially developed to prioritize groups. And we're going to use this for chiral centers. And then later on, we're also going to use it for assigning double bond configurations. So consider the two enantiomers I have drawn below. And we have our mirror plane right here. We have one enantiomer on the left and one enantiomer on the right. And you know how to do IUPAC naming for basic molecules. And you know, without letting the three-dimensionality of this throw you off, our parent here is ethane. And on carbon one, we have a bromo and a chloro. So if you were writing the IUPAC name for either one of these, you would write one bromo, one chloro, ethane. But that's not enough information because we have the chiral centers. These two things are stereoisomers and they are different molecules. For that reason, we need to be able to further define the name to tell the reader which particular enantiomer we're describing. And that's where the R and S assignments come in. In this first enantiomer, the chiral center has an S configuration or an S assignment. In the other enantiomer, the chiral center has the R assignment. And that brings us to an important feature that enantiomers will have opposite RS assignments. If one, enanti if one molecule has an S assignment, its enantiomer will have the R assignment. And the way you tell this to the reader is you start the IUPAC name with the particular RS assignment assigned to the chiral center. Now, what if you have multiple chiral centers that you have to deal with in a name? So here we have two. If you write, are generating the IUPAC name for this, of course, we'll number from left to right. The configuration of these chiral centers we have on this first one an R configuration, on this second one an S configuration. So when you write the name for this one, you need to tell the reader the location for each configuration. So you would start the name for this one. You put in parentheses, you would say 2R 4S. So when there's multiple chiral centers, you include the number. And then just the rest of the IUPAC name as usual. 